So I want to explain uh, anti-essentialism and essentialism. Essentialism is just biological determinism, and I guess it could be social determinism, whereas like people are naturally just always going to be with a group or this or that, and biology always determines what your utility is going to be. Like that is essentialist. Anti-essentialism is just realizing that there's more to the meaning of what you have inside beyond just your biology. I know this goes against like traditionalist values, like at the end of the day the meaning for women is just to have kids I guess, but um, it's not true, it's kind of rude to say that if you ask me. Um, anyways, I wanted to read this quote. To me, it's anti-essentialist, and it absolutely is. Um, yeah, not to sound LARPy as I'm busting out a book. Don't worry, it's not a debate. <laughs> okay, when we find a gene for certain human features or functions, it is by virtue of defining that feature narrowly. It makes sense to define genes for blood type or genes for height since these biological attributes have intrinsically narrow definitions. Uh, but it's an old sin of biology to confuse the definition of a feature with the feature itself. We define beauty as having blue eyes and only blue eyes. Then we will find a gene for beauty. If we define intelligence as the performance on only one kind of problem and only one kind of test, then we will indeed find a gene for intelligence. The genome is only a breath of narrowness of human imagination. It is narcissist reflected. So... Um, I feel like this, this might not, uh, necessarily, uh, be compatible, because I, I can't, uh, really connect with, uh, racial disparity and assumptions on intelligence, which, uh, keep people down and harmed, but personally, I can connect with being judged for, like, my past when I was in school, so, yeah. I think we should all not be so hard on each other. Um, there is no intelligence necessarily, in my opinion, along uh, racial lines, but there is different forms of intelligence in general. Like, um, you know, I have a, a, a friend who grows plants and he's really good at botany, but I questioned him about botany and he had no clue what I was talking about. He's like, what's botany? You know, it sounded kind of dumb, but he's a brilliant plant maker I guess you know he's really good at what he does and um, this is sort of like it reminds me of like the idea guy like he makes the plans and decides the idea but all the workers get to study the idea and then make it so the people making it are the they are kind of doing work they are working with the idea studying it and then building it they can't just, like, get told of an idea and not study it and then make it out of a fucking thin air. So, you know, obviously power to the proletariat and the workers. It's very uh, sad that, that I have to make this uh, side speech in here. But, yeah, we are often um, used for our utilities unwarrantedly. And essentialism is rampant, especially when it comes to, um, you know, socialization and what we think is uh, determinist biological features of each other. It's not necessarily true. Um, all right, see ya.